Hey, what's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Danielle Jeffers, founder of Doe 4 Degrees LLC. Today, I'm gonna to teach you what a community foundation is and how to use it to your advantage. All right, awesome. So we've been talking about scholarships. I helped you apply for the 2020 Taco Bell Scholarship. Go ahead and check out that series if you haven't already. The deadline has passed. It was due January 23rd, 2020 by 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But I told you after that series, I was going to introduce a series about community foundations and local scholarships. And so we're going to break this series up and put it in different categories, a.k.a. playlists on the channel. But most importantly, this series is extremely important because if you watch the video I produced called The Best Scholarships to Apply For, there are two different types of scholarships to apply for. Local scholarships and scholarships that fit you best based on your scholarship profile. And so community foundations are an example of local scholarships. Now, what is a community foundation? Let's check it out. So a community. Basically, I have an image here of trees, buildings, residential homes, people, all those things. A community is fueled by its economy. It needs an economy to drive a community. You need the roads to be paved well and you want um, good lighting on the sidewalks and all those things. So you need money to do that. But in addition to the community, you need money to, in addition to those things, you need money to help have a good quality of life for students who are pursuing college, um, for businesses and all those things. So community foundation, this is Doe for Degrees definition, is a pillar of support for organizations and people in a specific area. They may offer scholarships, grants, put on certain events, offer special project opportunities or um, grants to help you complete special special projects, etc. Now, if you're trying to find a community foundation to help you apply for scholarships, let me tell you my story. I am from Danville, Virginia, born and raised. It's right on the border of North Carolina. Um, Danville is it's located in South Central Virginia, so it literally sits on the border of North Carolina. Now, when I was in high school, I was applying for different scholarships, and 75% of the $100,000 plus in scholarships I won in five months as a high school senior came from Danville, and I had a great, I won a great renewable scholarship, meaning I continue to receive that scholarship each semester I was in school as long as I maintained a certain GPA and did X amount of community service hours from my community foundation. Now, in a, to apply for that scholarship, to win that, um, to apply for community foundations, you should know that it typically opens in January and closes by February, March, something like that. The local scholarship application window, meaning that the best time to apply for local scholarships is traditionally January until about April. Now, you don't want to wait until January to start. So January is getting ready to end. Technically, it's January 25th. But if you haven't started already, I wouldn't procrastinate another day because you don't want to miss this money. Remember, when you're applying for local scholarships, you have a higher chance of winning them because you're not competing against so many people. Unlike the Taco Bell scholarship and all these national scholarships I tell y'all about on the channel, you're competing with different um, students from all across the United States. There may be 10,000 people applying for this scholarship, whereas in your community foundation, I doubt there are 10,000 students applying for a community foundation scholarship unless you live in a heavily populated area where there are a lot of students, like for instance, California, New York, something like that. So how do you find the community foundation in your area? Well, here's a simple formula. Google community foundation, the name of your hometown slash current location. So let me break that down to you. I told you I'm from Danville, Virginia. So I would Google Community Foundation Danville, Virginia. That's all I would put in Google and press search. And then the top link actually is the Community Foundation of the Dan River region. That's the Community Foundation in my hometown. Now, I went to Virginia Tech and I graduated from Tech in 2019 having earned more than $200,000 in scholarships. I graduated debt free. I would Google Community Foundation Blacksburg, Virginia and the Community Foundation that would pop up would be the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Drop a comment below and let me know where your hometown is, the city, state, and if you're in college or you're going to college, where you intend to go to college, the city, state, okay? I wanna make sure you find these community foundations and you apply for them. This is the first video of this series where we're gonna talk about community foundations. I'm also gonna tell you about how to apply for a community foundation scholarship and we're gonna look at the one that's in my hometown, okay? So let me know if this helps you. Once again, drop a comment with where you're located, what's your hometown, and if you're in college, the city, state for both of those, 
Let me know in the comment section. I can't wait to see you in the next video.